Here are some tips and tricks to use in Google Calendar. Use the clickable sections below to skip through different parts of this tutorial. If you set up an event that you can no longer go to, you may want to change the ownership of it to someone else. Click on the event in your calendar and then select the three dots icon. From the drop-down menu, click on Change Owner. Type in the name or email of the person you want to own it and then click Change Owner to confirm. Add-ons are great for using Google Calendar to its full potential. Click on the plus sign on the right-hand side of your calendar. A window will appear listing popular add-ons. Click on the app you want to add. Once it's installed, you can click Done to complete. When creating a new calendar event, we can now click on the Zoom app on the right-hand side and incorporate Zoom meetings into our calendar invites. First, under My Calendars on the left-hand side, make sure there's a check mark next to your Birthdays calendar. Now go to contacts.google.com and select Contacts from the left-hand side. Click Create a Contact and then Create a Contact again from the drop-down. A pop-up window will appear. Type the name of the person whose birthday it is and other details if you wish. Click Show More and scroll down to find Birthday. Add their date of birth and then click Save. Back in Google Calendar, refresh your web page and you'll see the birthday appear in your calendar. First, make sure you're on the month or week in your calendar that you want to print. Click on the Settings icon and select Print from the drop-down. A print preview window will appear. You can amend the date range you want to print here. To change your font size, click on the drop-down here. To change your printout from landscape to portrait, click on Orientation. Click the checkbox by Show events you have declined to include events you are not attending in your printout. To keep your printout to only black and white, use the check mark here. Click Print to complete. You can use the built-in Tasks app for Google Calendar to add a to-do list. On the right-hand side, select the blue circle icon. A Google Tasks window will appear. To add a to-do, click Add a Task. Type the description and then click the pencil icon to add more details. You can allocate your task to a certain day or add subtasks here. Click back and your task will have been saved already. Once you've completed a task, you can check mark it in the window. To view your to-do list in your calendar, make sure your Tasks calendar is selected under My Calendars. Remember you can only use this function on your desktop. When using Google Calendar on a mobile device, you won't be able to see your to-do lists, as you'll need to use the separate Google Tasks app. Add time zones to your Google Calendar to help manage the scheduling of your events in different places around the world. Click on the Settings icon and select Settings from the drop-down. Scroll down to find Time Zone and click to add a check mark next to Display Secondary Time Zone. From the second drop-down, scroll through to find the time zone you want to add. Give it a label to help identify where the time zone is for. Go back to your calendar and you'll see the time zone you added on the left hand side.
You don't have to always scroll endlessly to find a specific date in Google Calendar. To go straight to a specific day in your calendar, type G on your keyboard and a pop-up will appear. Type in the date and then click Go. You'll be taken straight to that day. To go back to the current date, press G again and it'll automatically have today's date on the pop-up menu. Click Go and you'll be back to your current date. Create a public calendar so that anyone can view it or add it to their own calendars. Go to the Settings icon and then Settings from the drop-down. On the left-hand side, select Add Calendar and then Create New Calendar below. Give the calendar a name and description and click Create Calendar to complete. You'll now see your calendar appear on the left-hand side under My Calendars. Hover your cursor over the calendar name and then select the three dots icon next to it. Click on Settings and Sharing. Scroll down to find Access Permissions and click to add a check mark next to Make Available to Public. Click OK to confirm and your calendar will now be available to the public.